Chapter 22 I tried to duck under them. Too late. Heavy paws hit me hard. My chest. My shoulder. I staggered back against the sink and howled in pain as one of the snarling creatures sank his teeth into my ankle. As I slipped to the floor, I glimpsed Cal frozen in the corner, his eyes wide with fright. Run! I screamed. Get out of here! Go! A dog leaped at me again, pushed me onto my back on the floor. The other dog tore at my jeans. Get out of here! I shouted again. Finally, Cal moved. He took a few unsteady steps toward the back door. Go! I shrieked as both dogs tore at me with their teeth. B but you... Cal stammered. Don't worry about me, I cried. You can't help me. Get out! Out! He hesitated another second. I'll get help, he said. He shoved open the back door with both hands and disappeared outside. A dog's paws slashed across my face, twisting and pulling. The other dog tore up my jeans. Gasping, I struggled to wrestle free. They won't stop until they tore me apart, I realized. I'll never be able to save anyone. I've got to get them off me. I have to find a way to distract them. I kicked out at the snarling dog at my feet. It uttered an enraged howl and dug his teeth harder into my jeans leg. Over my gasping breath, I heard a loud rip as the creature pulled the jeans apart. The other dog stood on my chest, pinning me to the floor. How can I distract them? I asked myself. How? And then I spotted the trick-or-treat bag on the kitchen worktop, the bag Cal and I had taken from the little kid. There was still some chocolate in the bag, I remembered. And dogs like chocolate, right? In my panic, my mind whirred from thought to thought. Get the bag to the dogs. Show the sweets to them. Maybe. Maybe they'll go for the sweets. Maybe they'll go well long enough for me to escape. The kitchen worktop sat in the middle of the room, miles away. With a groan, I shoved the big dog off my chest. I rolled onto my side. Then I kicked out hard with both legs. Kicked the other dog off me. It tilted up his head, roaring in rage. I rolled again, jumped to my feet, dived for the worktop. Yes! Yes! I grabbed the bag in both hands and heaved it to the floor. The bag landed in on his side. Chocolate bars rolled onto the floor. Would the dogs go for it? Would they go for the sweets? I stared at the floor as he approached it, sniffed it. No, no, no. Snoring furiously, they stepped over the sweets and bared their teeth, red eyes glowing, preparing to attack me again.